Let's turn this into this, a DIY pot plant stand. These are the tools and materials that you will need. Measure the diameter of your pot for the base and also the height of your pot to determine how high you want it off the ground. Next is cut your wood pieces to size, the four legs and the two crossbars for the base. Make sure to sand down all your pieces of wood so the edges and surfaces are smooth. Next, I'm marking out a notch that is dead center in the two pieces of wood that make the base of the pot plant stand. And I made sure to make them both equal because I'm going to cut them out and they're going to slot into one another. To cut them out, I'm using a jigsaw and what I'm doing is I'm cutting lines right into the end line in the center of the wood and stopping just before that line and cutting another slice right next to it. This will help me carve out the notch a lot easier. Take a wood chisel and gently take out these pieces of wood. They'll just break off. Clamp down your wood and you can use the chisel at a side angle to gently scrape off all the bumpy bits and make it as smooth as possible. Look how these two pieces slot into one another. Nifty, hey? I'm applying wood glue to the joins and I'm securing with a wood screw making sure the wood screws on the underside. Now I'm making markings on my four legs on where I want the pot to stand from the ground and I'm drilling a hole in the center of each one. These holes act as a pilot hole for when I join the four legs to the base of my pot pond stand. And I'm driving in a long enough wood screw to make sure it's all secure. The structure is looking good and now you just have to paint, stain and seal. I've decided to stain this wood pot plant stand and there's the finished project. It's looking great, I love how it came out. Just four pieces of wood and two smaller pieces and you can have a mid-century inspired DIY pot plant stand. Hope you enjoyed this DIY and remember keep smiling and DIYing.